here. Hello guys, I'm Jaden. Uh, the son. I'm going to introduce my mom, Kim and Nolly. Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Nolly, licensed nail tech and educator. Today I'll be going over what clear gel is. I always see bottles state clear gel or you know like there's this one that's clear gel and then there's also this one and these are the three that i have and i'm gonna go over and show you guys how i use them and what the benefits are so let's go ahead and get started i'm showing you my three clear gels that i have and the ones i do have is from d gel and two are from f gel and with these ones, they are labeled as clear gel. Now, when we talk about clear gel, the question about it is, what are they and what do they do? Are they also considered to be a base gel or a top gel? I've read up on these three products and let's just say that with clear gel, they are an all around gel. What does that mean? It means that basically they can do everything. So with clear gel, you can use it for encapsulating nail art, nail charms. You can mix loose glitters with it. You can mix your gel polishes with them. It can also be used to create overlays on top of your nails. Um, it does state that it can be used as an extending gel, you know, creating extensions. But for me, if that's the case, I would recommend using a thicker viscosity clear gel. Now, what are the benefits of clear gel? Um, it states that a lot of clear gel is self leveling. Um, some brand has different viscosity of clear gel. Like I said, I do have one that's thin. And I believe the clear gel from F gel are both medium and some does say that it does have little to almost no heat spike. Now I haven't tested that on myself because a lot of times I use clear gel just to uh, encapsulate my nail art or just to put a thin layer so that I can put my nail charms on top. So I haven't tested that theory out myself to see if there is any heat spike. This clear gel is by F gel and it's in a bottle form. And on the website, it states that it's great for overlays and it's good for mixing like glitters or gel colors. Now with this one, it does say that it is a no wipe and non yellowing type clear gel. So when we look at it, it can almost be used as a top coat gel. Now my bottle here is actually running really low. So it, it has become a bit thick, but I believe this one is a medium viscosity. The cool thing about these clear gel is that you can use it with full coverage nail tip. I have experimented on it and it works just fine. This potted clear gel is also by F gel and this one has a bottle form also. Again from the website it states that it's an all around clear gel good for overlays and extensions, doesn't yellow, and it says that it has little to no heat spikes. The bottle form has a medium viscosity, whereas the potted one has a higher viscosity. So the one that I have here, you basically can build extensions with. Now, I haven't really tested out this one, so I can't say for sure if it has any heat spikes or doesn't have any heat spikes, but I'm sure it'll still be really good to, you know, mix your glitters with or even put like those 3D gel gemstones on. Now, this one is from D Gel. And I gotta say that this one is kind of cool. I'm actually loving the potted pumping bottle form. 
it just makes it so easy to use because it's not messy and you're not messing around with gels spilling all over or getting on the side of the bottle or your potted bottle. Degel's clear gel has three textures. So if you look at the cap, it'll tell you the three that they have available. Uh, you have sick as high viscosity, medium is for mid, and bio for thin or watery viscosity. I have the bio, which is the watery type, super thin viscosity. And it really, to me, it feels just like a base coat. It states that it can be used for encapsulating or of flat nail art or mixing it with glitter. Because this one is a very thin uh, viscosity, I would not recommend using it for any kind of nail extension. As you can see that all you have to do when using this gel is to pump it one time and a good amount of gel comes out. What I really love about this whole pumping system here is that you can really control how much the gel comes out. The downside of this is that the cap itself doesn't click on as well like you'll hear a click but it the cap can pop off really easily so if you do have a little bit of gel that you're not using left over that might cause a problem but if you're not using it anywhere and it just stays in a drawer putting the cap back on shouldn't be a problem Okay, I took out my potted leaf gel base and top because I wanted to show you that these can also be considered as clear gel. The only thing with these two is that you won't be able to do any extensions with them, but they can be just as good for mixing glitters and encapsulating nail charms. As I mentioned before, the F gel reminds me of a top gel, while the D gel one reminds me of a base gel. So when you think about it, basically you can use, you know, these two by leaf gel as a good, you know, clear gel. And they can also be good for overlays. Let's do a bit of nail art using these clear gel. I'm going to be starting off with my leaf gel base as a mixing medium for my glitters. When I start putting glitter into my base coat, it's going to start becoming thick versus when I just use the clear base coat by itself. Now I'm going to put a good amount of glitter on my nail tip and as you can see that it has become very thick so I'm going to try and spread out the glitter as much as possible because at the end we don't want to, it to be super chunky. Once it is cured, I'm going to go ahead and use my F gel in the bottle and I'm going to start putting a layer on top because, you know, with glitter, it's going to be really rough and we want our surface to be nice and smooth. So one thing about the thicker viscosity of gel is that when you do put glitter on, it really helps smooths out everything and adds that thickness to it.
make sure to always look at your side view to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and I always do this is that I tip my tip over upside down so that all the gel can kind of smooth out evenly. Now that it's cured, I'm going over the nail with a buffer just to get everything nice and smooth, making sure that no glitter is popping out. Now you can also take a nail file and file it a bit of the bulkiness if you see it and then use a buffer to smooth everything over that works as well. I'm just going to be buffing it since it's just a nail tip. Make sure to reshape your nail. Sometimes, you know, when you use these kind of clear gel that adds a little bit of bulkiness to it, you might lose the shape. So always remember that when you're at this stage to just reshape your nails. I'm going to be taking my D gel clear gel and I'm just gonna show you how I use this to put on the flat nail charms and how I work around you know crystals too. Once my charms are cured, I'm going in with a second layer of the clear gel by D-Gel here and just securing everything so nothing pops out. Make sure to top coat for that last final secure and to make your nails nice and shiny and then the next will be how it's going to look. Alrighty, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it informational. Now, if you have any questions regarding clear gel, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. So all I ask again is that if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and then I'll see you guys in my next one.